Hi, I'm Travis Gaston, and I'm a consultant here at Asset Optimization Consultants. I'm a chemical engineer by education, I'm API 5A certified, and I've been implementing RBI programs since 2016 for petroleum refineries, chemical plants, and offshore platforms. Prior to that, I had spent four years in reservoir characterization in the Gulf of Mexico. Today, I'd like to talk to you about integrity operating windows, or IOWs. In this presentation, I will discuss what IOWs are, why they're important, how the windows are used, discuss the damage profile over time when different alarm levels are reached, and finish things off with a practical example of IOW implementation. To get things started, we need to know what IOWs are. API RP584 is the recommended practice solely devoted to establishing and implementing integrity operating windows. They are defined in API 584 as, quote, established limits to process variables, parameters, that can affect the integrity of equipment if the process operation deviates from established limits for a predetermined length of time, includes critical, standard, and informational IOWs. I will now describe why IOWs are important and the differences between critical, standard, and informational IOWs. Now we know what IOWs are, but why are they important? During the Damage Mechanism Review, or DMR, damage mechanisms are defined and the controlling process parameters are identified. Those parameters are then bounded by different windows. Integrity operating windows are ranges of operation that will aid in the maintenance of equipment integrity. There are typically three levels of alarms, informational high and low, standard level high and low, and critical limit high and low. Informational notifications will be sent out when the controlling parameters deviate outside the optimal range but are still inside the safe operation window. Standard level high and low alarms send out a notification to operations when corrective actions need to be taken within a reasonable amount of time to prevent accelerated damage from occurring. And then critical high low alarms will send out a notification that actions need to be taken as soon as possible to prevent quickly occurring failures. How are IOWs used? The desired process variable or variables will be monitored. If these particular variables start changing or moving outside their desired range, alarms will be sent out to the operators. Depending on how far the variable deviates will determine how quickly response is needed. Sometimes intervention is not necessary, only continued monitoring. By controlling the key variables, accelerated damage and failure rates can be avoided. This graphic shows the relationship between damage rate, risk, and remaining life as the process variables move farther outside safe operating conditions. Notice the major inflection points when crossing from standard limits to critical limits. Also notice how risk profile becomes unaccessible sooner, as noted in the green circles, and how the expected remaining life becomes shorter, noted in the yellow circles, as the equipment is permanently affected by operation outside the integrity operating window. Now that we have a basic understanding of IOWs, let's go into a hypothetical example. In this example, we will discuss sulfidation. Let's say there is a vessel where the bottoms have a high concentration of sulfur at around 550 degrees Fahrenheit. There is also no hydrogen present. From the vessel to the heat exchanger, the pipe is 316 stainless steel, which is less susceptible to sulfidation. After the exchanger, the pipe is carbon steel SA106 grade B. Carbon steel is more susceptible to sulfidation after 500 degrees Fahrenheit, so the IOW will involve controlling the temperature on the outlet side of the heat exchanger. So, an alarm for action may be set at 500. If the temperature after the exchanger were to raise above 500, whether it be from cooling water upset or process upset from upstream, etc., an alarm would be triggered and an operator would investigate to correct the issue before too much damage occurs. If the temperature is controlled promptly, then excess damage to the pipes downstream of the equipment can be avoided. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my video presentation on integrity operating windows. If you want help with your mechanical integrity program or have other topics that you'd like to see us cover in this series, please get in touch with us at www.aocorp.com or send us an email at info at aocorp.com. Thank you and have a good day.